Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Wipro interview experience. This interview was for the 2022 batch student, and guys, this interview happened today only. That is on 22nd March 2022. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end because a lot of the questions get repeated in interviews, and many of the interviews are going on this week. So kindly do not skip any part of this video and make sure to watch this video till the end. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it. As well as join our Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring, as well as the questions we are getting asked in them. And guys, if you want more such Wipro interview experiences, you can come to my channel. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button, as well as in the description box. Visit this playlist, and there are a lot of interview experiences for Wipro which I have dis discussed in this playlist. And guys, kindly subscribe to the channel because more such interview experiences will be posted in future and guys please like this video and comment that yes you want these type of videos because then only i will be able to make such videos so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so as the date of the interview was as i told you it was today only that is on 22nd march 2022 the branch of my friend was it the duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes the first question that was asked from my uh, from this candidate was tell me about yourself and guys this is the very common as well as very important question as per the interview is concerned because by this particular question the interviewer knows that what all things you have done as a student in the college what are what are your skills what are your projects you have done what are the internships that you have done for uh, in which society you were the part of or what are the different extracurricular activities that you have tried in your college life so guys Kindly keep your answer very brief and kindly tell, try to tell all those things, all those strong points which you have in yourself. And guys, believe me, the entire interview is, there is a very good chance that the entire interview will be on the answers, answer you give in this particular question. So I hope this particular question is clear to you and now I will move into the next question. Next question was, what are the DDL and DML commands in SQL? So guys, uh, did it as when the interview is going on the database is a very important part of the interview one or two questions in every interview whether it is any company the one or two commonly asked questions will be asked from the database subject in the interview so here the uh, question was explain the ddl and dml commands so first of all you must know the uh, full form of ddl and dml commands ddl command stands for data definition language whereas dml command stands for data manipulation language now uh, detail demands it is used to create database schema and can be used to define some constraints as well so as if you want to create a table you will have to give uh, the, uh, while creating the table you will have to give that how many uh, columns should be present in that table what are the data type of each of the column and what are the different constraints that should be present in the column so if you'd have to do the things like changing the database schemas like this uh, like this thing so you will be using ddl commands whereas dml commands it is used to add add the data inside a table it is used to retrieve the data and as well as it is used to update the data from the table so i hope now the major difference between ddl and dml commands is clear to you their ddl commands are used to make changes in the schema that how a table will look how many columns will it have but are the different constraints that will be present in the column so for all these what ddl commands are there and when we try to enter the data inside a table or we try to retrieve or update the data then we use the DML commands. So I hope now the difference is clear to you. The next question was, is update a DML command? So guys, uh, I've just told you that uh, if, we have, if we have to uh, insert the data, fetch the data, or we have to update the data inside a table, then we use DML commands. So yes, update is a DML command because it is updating the data. So I hope this particular thing is clear to you. Next is explain OOPS concept in detail. So guys, if you will watch my previous interview experiences of any companies, this particular question you will find 9 out of 10 times it is asked in the interviews. And guys, for this purpose only, this question is very important. For this purpose only, I have made a separate video on my channel which I have discussed in detail that what are the different OOPS concepts which are present in, uh, which are present. So the name of those concepts are abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Now what are these? What are the real life examples of these particular concepts? I have discussed in detail in that video. Kindly watch that video after watching this video. The link you will find in the i button as well as in the description box. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next is what are covariant variables? 
सो गाइज आई एम कीपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन फॉर यू यू विल हैव टू टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दट वट आर द को वेरियंट वेरियबल्स यू विल हैव टू गिव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ को वेरियंट वेरियबल्स और इफ यू हैव एनी प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज अबाउट द को वेरियंट वेरियबल्स यू कैन शेयर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बट गाइज डू एंगेज एंड डू टेल अदर्स ऑल्सो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दैट वट आर द को वेरियंट वेरियबल्स सो आई होप दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर टू यू एंड गाइज इफ यू हैव नॉट हिट द लाइव बटन टिल नॉट प्लीज हिट द लाइव बटन इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू make more such videos on my channel thank you now next is what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding so guys again it is a very commonly asked question all of you will know the answer of this particular question but many of you get confused in method overloading as well as method overriding so these are two different terms but you generally what you do you give the answer of method overloading in method overriding and in uh, and the answer of method overriding in overloading so do not do this it is a very simple as well as very commonly asked question now what is method overloading first of all method overloading is a compile time polymorphism whereas method overriding is a run time polymorphism now uh, let just suppose let just suppose that we have two methods we have two methods with same name but different number of arguments like we have a method help in which we are in first method we are passing only single argument and in the second method we are passing two arguments so this is the case of method overloading that is it helps in the increase it helps to increase the readability of the program that is there are two programs uh, sorry there are two methods which are present inside a class which have same name but different number of arguments or different types of argument this is known as method overloading now since two methods are present in the same class so method overloading occurs within the class only but now what is method overriding now a uh, method overriding is used to grant the specific implementation of the method which is already provided by its parent class now let's just suppose we have a car class that is a parent class and the child class is let's suppose hyundai now every car will have four wheels but there will be different average for every car now uh, a variable or you can say a method has been defined in an parent class of average average is the name of the method now that average method will give the average of the parent car that is you can say the mean of all the classes which are present uh, which all the cars which are present but if we try to implement that average method inside the child class that is hund uh, in the class of hyundai then we will have to give a specific implementation to that method that this is the formula by which we calculated the average of hyundai whereas if if that method was present in the car class we would have given the general implementation so this is method overriding that once uh, we have given an implementation of a method in the parent class we can override that particular implementation of the method in the child class So this is the example of method overriding, and I have told you that it happens at runtime, whereas method overriding happens at compile time. Now next is since method overloading consists of two uh, two methods with same name with different parameters, it was present within the class only, whereas method overriding requires two classes. One is the parent class, another one is the child class. So it is performed within two classes. So I hope now the difference between method overloading and method overriding is clear to you. Okay. Now move on to the next question. Does Java support multiple inheritance? So guys, the answer is yes as well as no. If after this you will have to ask that what is the what the, what are the uh, you can say what are the data structure we are using? So if they say that using class is multiple inheritance possible in Java, so using class multiple inheritance is not possible in Java. But using interfaces, the multiple inheritance is possible in Java. So the answer is both yes and no. Yes, with uh, interfaces. No, with the help of the class. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next is explain the types of polymorphism. So guys, polymorphism also have two types. It is compile time polymorphism and another one is run time polymorphism. Now earlier in this video I have told you that compile time polymorphism also has two types. That is function overloading. It is implemented by two type two types. Compile time polymorphism. One is function overloading, and another one is operator overloading. I have told you that what is function overloading and what is operator overloading. Next is uh, polymorphism. The next type of polymorphism is runtime polymorphism, which happens at runtime. So method overriding we have seen. So that is also an example of runtime polymorphism. So I hope this particular question is also clear to you. Uh, next question is: Are you willing to relocate? So guys, according to me, you should say yes to this particular question. irrespective of the fact whether you are ready or not because in the end the, it is it is the project that will be given to you it will be dependent on you whether you have to relocate or not so in the interview you can say that yes i am ready to relocate now now the last question of this interview was are you comfortable in signing a bond so guys i do not know that exactly for how many years 
Wipro is signing the bond, but yes, there exists a bond, and I am hoping it will be at least of one year only, one year. So if you are uh, if you are comfortable in signing uh, signing the bond, then only they will give you the job. So guys, please do not say no that you are not comfortable in signing the bond because 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 uh, they it doesn't matter that a single child is not comfortable in signing the bond and rest of the child uh, rest of the students are comfortable. So they will simply reject you if your interview is very good and you say no to this question that yeah no I am not comfortable in signing the bond. They will simply reject you. So please do not say no to these particular questions. They can. impact your interview in the negative way so guys these were all the questions which are asked in today's wipro interview from this candidate if you want to see more please hit the like button please subscribe the channel and please write in the comment section that yes we want to see more such videos and if i am a bit late in uploading the videos you can simply visit the playlist that i will give in the description box wherein more such interview experiences of wipro has been shared so guys this was it for this video thank you for watching the video